Today me and Craig are going to be showing you how to fit the CSL grill to the G81. This is a how-to video. Let's go. So we've got the G81 on the ramp and we are ready to rock. So Craig is going to show us a step-by-step -step guide so you guys can do this at home. So step one guys, we're going to remove this top trim along here. It's got six little rivets on it, quite easy to remove. You can use a trim tool like this, it doesn't have to be this long, but this is all I've got. Very simple, one clip out like that, six little clips. Pull. And that's that trim removed, simple. Step three, count. We're gonna remove the arch liner. Now, if you've got uh, room to do it, you can take the wheel off, uh, remove the arch liner. You don't have to always remove the arch liner. There's only two screws there which are uh, eight or 10 mil cartons, remember. Um, but there's two screws that bolt the bumper up. So we'll remove the arch liner and we'll show you in the camera where they are. So now the arch line is removed, guys. You can see there's an eight mil screw just here, and there's a one just at the back, two eight mil screws, and that pinches the front bumper into the wing. For step four, there's also the PDC sensor if you've got a uh, park assist. So there's a plug just on the back of here that needs removing. Same again on the other side when we get there. There's also on the driver's side, a temp sensor and the main wiring that goes across the front bumper that you need to unplug as well. So there are the three or four plugs that you need to do. So everything is on this side, removing the arch liner, we're gonna remove the same again, repeating on the other side to get to the two eight, eight mil screws. So here we got guys, the bottom plug for the temp sensor, little plug at the behind it, little push down, quite easy. Uh, again, parking sensor, push down, comes off. And then the main body bumper, just get a little pick to pop that, then comes off, easy. Step five. Um, eight mil screws that go up into the bumper. We're going to undo them now. So two eight mils, pretty long screws. Sometimes you're getting with a little buzz gun if you need to. But... Pretty long screws, okay. Step six, uh, 10 mil screws across the bottom of the bumper. So we're gonna take all the 
uh, actual screws. Don't worry about the little plastic rivets. They're all right. They're holding on the front corner splitters. So it's just the 10 mil nuts that go across. So just undo all them. <laughs> Step seven. So what I do now is a bit of protection. Uh, bumper's ready to come off pretty much. It will pull down. There's a little clip that holds it on. So just give it a little tug. But last thing you want to do is remove your bumper and scratch your wing. So we use a little bit of masking tape protecting the wing. We're also going to run a little bit around the bottom of the bumper there. So when it's tucking under the headlight, you don't accidentally scratch your bumper putting it back on. It's just little things, a little bit of protection. Step eight, removing the front bumper. It's on. Ah. Have you pulled it away? <laughs> yeah. Oh, beautiful. There's my screw I dropped earlier. Excellent. Just lay it down on there. And there it is, guys. In eight simple steps, the bumper is off. Now, the bumper has two little lugs. So the lugs on the bottom of the bumper. So you've got two little lugs here. And same again on the opposite side, just here. Now they hook over this metal guard that's on the actual frame of the car, which makes it a little bit difficult to pull off. So don't be shy when you're giving it a tug. So step nine, we're gonna be fitting the new grill. So what you've got to do on the inside, basically just remove a little bit of the loom for the PDC sensors, remove two PDC sensors, which have only two little lugs that hold it on. Very easy to remove, literally pull apart. Probably best thing to do is put a finger on the inside, on the outside, and give it a little push while you're popping the clips back, and it slides out like that. Very simple. Same again on this side. Ah, there she goes. Again, all these little clips. We'll get a trim tool to remove that one as it sits in a little circle. And then that's the wiring pretty much off and out of the way. Step 10, removing the actual grill itself. Uh, there's numerous amount of clips all the way around the grill, a uh, couple in the center. So just basically need to clip all these out, keep pulling the grill while you're pulling them at the same time and popping them. They're not the easiest. A little bit, you think you might snap it, but you'll be all right. Last one, I think. It's not uh, the easiest, but she's off. A little bit, a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky, but it's off. That's the main thing. Also, if you've got your number plate housing, you need to take that off just on the other side, because of course your bumper has the bumper trim that runs through there. Otherwise that would be in the way. Yep. Right. I'm gonna compare it to the old, uh, well, the new CSL grill. So basically here we've got the uh, M3 CS grill on CSL, both the same supplied from Derby Stratstone Parts, BMW. Thank you very much. Looked after us there on price. Smashed everybody else out of the water. So thanks to them. So as you can see though, difference, massive difference between- I like this red line. Yeah, pinstripe. So I give it a more aggressive look on the front end. So let's get it on. So basically the final step now is fitting the new grill and then following everything we've just done in reverse, putting it all back together. So basically, pretty simple. And with it being a genuine grill, look how it's just nicely slotting into place. Yeah. Awesome. That's it, all the clips are in. Just gotta put the PDC sensors in. The 
Again, the PDC sensor got a little rubber seal just around it, you can see here, it just pops off. So ensure that that's fitted correctly. And we'll pop it up. We'll have a look and see how the sensors look, Whoa. wherever they're fitted. Oh yeah, perfect. So you're just checking the sensors? Yeah, so I'm just checking that the actual O-ring's not trapped and they're fitted correctly. So we're all good. So there it is guys, the beautiful M3 CSL grill. Look how awesome it looks. I think it makes the car look a lot more aggressive. And once the carbon fiber bits are on, it's just gonna, I mean, it's already transformed the car. So there it is guys. If you wanna do this grill now, you know how to do it. We've done you a step-by-step -step video. Thank you to my boy Ammo, big up. Step-by-step -step video for you there. Like, share, and subscribe. I do hope you are enjoying the content with my G81 Smyrna Green M3. Stay tuned, we are at Brands Hatch tomorrow. We've also got a good video coming with suspension secrets, but you probably won't see that till Friday. Catch you again. <laughs>